Here's my iPhone 15. On the back of the iPhone, I have this accessory. This is a Oracle enclosure with an SSD inside. And this enclosure with SSD is going to let me have more storage in order to move my stuff from the iPhone to the SSD and from the SSD to my computer. So you can see on my screen, I have a lot of videos that I recorded today and I need to transfer those videos onto my Mac in order to start editing and working on those. So I'm going to use the Oracle enclosure and SSD in order to transfer all my files from the iPhone directly to my MacBook, which is going to be a lot faster than using AirDrop. So you simply need to select all the videos and photos that you want to transfer and select the option save as file. It will open the file application and then you're going to navigate inside the new enclosure and SSD name. For me, it is Oracle M2. So this is where I am saving all my videos and it is going to take a little bit of time depending on the size of the video. I have one hour and a little bit more of footage. So it is a big file. It is 4K 60. And also here, the button is the iPhone. The USB-C that Apple used on the iPhone 15 doesn't have a lot of speed. So this is why it is going to take time if your files are big. In a computer, a MacBook, it is going to be much faster. Even on a Windows PC that has a good USB-C port speeds, it is going to be a lot faster than using the iPhone 15. The iPhone 15 is simply the bottleneck in terms of speed. So after I said that, this is going to be the easiest and the fastest way to transfer a lot of files from your iPhone onto a computer or onto a MacBook. So inside the file application, you can have the specs of your SSD. You can see how much available memory you have and simply how much you do not have. 